Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Friday, 10th of July 2020, this popular filmmaker, director and producer and an actress, Tonya Brown, took to her social media to celebrate living a peaceful life. This mom of one changed her name from Tony and a map to Tony Abraham. And this actor says it has been a hell of a journey, which is worth it. There was a Tony and a map who then Tony Abraham happened three years ago. Let's not forget the new Tony, it's just three years ago. It has been one massive journey of change and faithfulness of God. What a journey. She says she's living a life at her own pace and being at peace with her peace. It was all over the news exactly this day. Three years ago, when she decided to change her name from Tony Aymaku to Tony Abraham, this actress had so many controversies from her broken marriage then to her controversial relationship. And then she decided to change her name to have a fresh start in life, away from the negative vibes and stories that surrounds the name Aymaku. Speaking in her interview, she also disclosed that changing her name signified a fresh start. Initially, it was a family decision to change the name, but then Abraham resisted because of her brand. She finally made the decision to go with the family's change. And she said Tony Abraham is a different and a better brand. And she's here to stay and break new grounds, which she has been doing ever since. Over time, you have learned several lessons from this brand, Tony Abraham. The first one, there is room for improvement. In an interview, she was asked the secret to her success. And she said she owes it to constant self-improvement. She further explained how she had to quit some habits, redefine her relationships, and even research on how to be a better actress. The second lesson is versatility. Tony started in Kitchen Fashigar's movie two weeks in Lagos and played the role of the church, cool-headed girl, as opposed to her usual kind of rules. Apparently, her fans were amazed as to how she could perfectly deliver this role. It is important to be versatile in life and in business. Also, some of Tony Abraham's quotes include Don't dwell too much on what people tell you, so you don't have to relax. Keep moving. Why you don't listen to the voice of the Lord, then you listen to the voice of the devil. Why you make a mistake, be quick to say it out loud. It only becomes a problem when you fail to admit it. You cannot motivate people with what you do not know. When you fall and you stand, it makes you great. We are all beggars and hurt. It's either we are begging for money, happiness, health, it is Let's be humble. Our medicine go as far back as we can remember. It is how our great grandparents and grandparents survived and thrived. By the time you analyze issues carefully, you would realize that the so called critics are people who don't know you. They form their opinions based on what they see on screen or what they hear people say. Life is too short to dwell on things that make you unhappy. To be great in life, you have to be willing to be mocked, hated, and misunderstood. Happiness is personal. Don't let people determine your happiness. Motherhood is a journey, a reality check when you realize that your life is no longer your own. Even in labor room, to live or not to live is in the hand of God. This actress also reveals that she's in a competition with herself. Also, commenting on her fashion routine, this Ibadoborn actress stated clearly that She's not that kind of woman that likes to wear makeup or earrings. According to her, following her moderate lifestyle, she had to close down her lipstick business. After 17 years in the movie industry, Tony has acquired a reputation for being herself and someone that's not necessarily flamboyant. This mother of one also confessed that she has a penchant for looking good and smelling good as well. So many people will agree that Tony Abraham is a product of grace. This actress once admitted that she's not one who is without flaws, as her imperfection has not stopped her from getting support from people who have helped her career to date. Her unassuming nature has continued to pave the way for her. Only recently, she got remarried and welcomed her baby boy. Confessing what marriage has done to her, this actress took to her Twitter handle and revealed that marriage for her is a new experience and it has really changed her. She's grown up and she's a woman indeed. Her marriage to a very mature man has changed her life and she's no longer the twin people used to know. Our relationship, she revealed what she believes that there is no perfect man, neither is there a perfect woman. A man can be perfect for you and he's not perfect for her. What she usually tells people is to pray whenever they are going into any relationship. This is because it's not about the looks, rather it is about who God has assigned to you. What men want is love, care and attention. Once they get them, you can go for any man. Tony Abraham's journey to stardom started in the year 2003 
when the veteran actress Buki Rice called her uh, any bad done in Oyo State while she was helping out on set, and she eventually had to fill in for a missing actress. It was in the year 2003 that she starred in her very first movie, Dugwe Dugwe Mbo, which was produced by Buki Wright. Since then, she has continued to feature in Best of Nollywood movies and has also ventured into movie production. Generally, Tony is known for her comic roles in films, especially with her self produced blockbuster movie, Alakada Reloaded. She's also an entrepreneur. Tony Abraham was born Olu Tony Aimaku. On September 5, 1984, in Auchi, in Edo State, she began her education in Edo State and attended Obakenzo Noja Primary School in Benin. Later on, her father retired and the entire family moved to Ibadan in Oyo State, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibadan, she started from Queen Staff School, then St. Anne's School in Ibadan. Thereafter, she proceeded to Ire Polytechnic in Oshun State for a national diploma in business studies. She also attended Olabisi Onobaje University and backed a degree in philosophy before returning to Uri Polytechnic for an HND marketing. Tony is the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to work to support her family. It was in the year 2013 that she got married to Adeni Johnson, a Nollywood actor, but the marriage lasted for only two years. Then in July 2019, she had a traditional engagement with Kola Wale and Jeremy an actor. Together, they welcomed their first child in August 2019, and she changed her name from Tony Aimako to Tony Abraham in 2016. Her hobbies are singing, dancing, and cooking. Today, Tony Abraham is one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry, and according to her, studying in Okafor's Law and working with movie director Moni Billy was highly instrumental to her brand. She is not relented. She has been consistent and is making a name for herself. She has starred in numerous movies including Alaka, Dao, Melemo, Shaw, Aitale, Bimini, Lani Baba, Laba, Kelov is on the Hair, Okafor's Law, Celebrity Marriage, Wives on Strike, London Fever, Hakunde, Alaka that Reloaded, Mentally, The In-Laws, Dance to My Heart, The Ghost and The Tout, Seven and a Half Dates, What Just Happened, Two Weeks in Lagos, Nimbe, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Blink Lagosians, Elevator Baby, among others. Tony has won several awards and she also has several nominations. Some of her nominations include Best Supporting Actress Yuba Ebimini, Best of Nollywood Awards 2013, Best Actress in a Supporting Role, African Movie Academy Award 2018, Best Actress in a Supporting Role Diamond and the Sky English Best of Nollywood 2019. Some of her awards also include Best Actress Ala Kada, Ben TV Awards 2014, Best Indigenous Actress Nigerian Entertainment Award 2014, The Best Supporting Actress Feature Film, Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Actress in Hollywood, Moklu All Youth Awards 2017, The Best Female Act Nigerian Entertainment Awards 2017, Best Actress Exquisite Lady of the Year 2017, Best Supporting Actress Africa Magic Via Stories Awards 2018. In October 2019, Tony officially launched the herbal medicine business, Tony Herbal, a subsidiary of Tony Abraham Company. This was shortly after she revealed how challenging her journey to motherhood was. According to her, she discovered a lot of people have abandoned the traditional remedies that served their forefathers during crisis of childlessness. Rather, they have sought out all the modern inventions which are quite expensive and probably harmful to their health. As a result, she launched the Female Fertility Booster, a product that makes childbearing and conceiving easier. She's also the CEO of Cough Slimming Tea by Tony and Body Talk by Tony. Following her acting exploits over the years, Tony has earned the unofficial status of Box Office Queen, having delivered two back-to-back -back box office successes. While our humility and charisma have continued to open new doors for her, Tony is definitely the darling of the Nigerian screen. We are coming to the end of this episode. We say congratulations once again to Tony Abraham on her third anniversary after her name change to Tony Abraham.